Hello, Rachel. Who is it? It's her favorite sister. Jill. Amy. Hi, my rings. <laughs> Do you have a hair straightener? Um, hi! Hi, uh, hair straightener! I haven't seen you in like a year! I know, I know, I've just been crazy! Oh, me too! I had a baby! I decorated dad's office! Oh, yeah? Well, unless you push eight dads out of vagina, not the same thing! Listen about the hair straightener, honey. I really need one. I'm gonna have dinner at my boyfriend's house. Oh my god. Is this Emmett? <laughs> oh, it's Emma. It's a girl? <laughs> hey, Emmy. Oh, Amy, you remember Ross? Not really. Uh, but you're much cuter than the geeky guy she used to date. That was me. <laughs> no, he was this creepy guy from high school who had this huge crush on her since like ninth grade. Still me. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about you. Come on, it's just your fat friend's brother with that bad afro. Okay, Emmy, I'm gonna save you sometime. Okay, owe me. <laughs> oh, she's precious. Do you ever worry she's gonna get your real nose? Amy? Oh, yes, I do. I really do. Hello? Uh, yeah, hang on one sec. Can I take this upstairs? Sure, we don't live there, but... Seriously? It's just this rooms? I thought you were a doctor. Yeah, no, Ross has a PhD. Ew! God, she is unbelievable. I know. I mean, a PhD is just as good as an MD. Yeah, oh, sure, Ross, yeah. If I have a heart attack at a restaurant, I want you there with your fossil brush. <laughs> Stupid Thanksgiving. What? What What happened? My boyfriend canceled on me. I mean, I finally find a real relationship, someone that I can spend this day with, and then his wife comes back into town. I swear it's almost an even worse day to marry guys. Don't say that. God, I was so looking forward to this. It was gonna be such a beautiful Thanksgiving. We're gonna have sushi. <laughs> oh, Amy, don't cry. Um, Ross, could I talk to you in private? Sure, you wanna go upstairs or...? Um, look, I was thinking, if it's okay with Monica, I would like to invite Amy to Thanksgiving. I think that's a great idea. It would be like the pilgrim spring, the Indian syphilis. Look, I know she's a little tough to take, but, but she has nowhere else to go, and she's my sister, alright? She's Emma's aunt, and I would like them to bond. I don't want them bonding too much. I don't want her telling Emma she needs a nose job. Well, Ross, you know what? She may need one. We're just gonna have to make our peace with that. Hey, Amy. Amy? Amy? I'm out in the hall. Your baby had some sort of explosion of stink. The bout is going great! In case you hadn't noticed, I'm not talking to you. You know, this is just classic Rachel. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Remember in high school when I died and didn't give you my baby? This might be my one chance to have a child, Rachel. I mean, you know that I've been so busy focusing on my career. What? 
What career? I'm a decorator. You decorate dad's office, and now you're a decorator. Okay, I went to the zoo yesterday. Now I'm a koala bear. <laughs> Why can't you ever be supportive? Support? You want to talk supportive? You didn't even come and visit me when I was in the hospital having the baby. Yeah, well, you didn't come to see me in the hospital when I was getting my lips done. Oh, oh, I did the first time. <laughs> oh, and you know what? You wanna know why I'm not giving Emily to you? Emma, whose side are you on? <laughs> I'm not giving you Emma because there's no way you can handle the responsibility of a child. <sighs> How hard could it be? You do it. Ooh hoo, hoo 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 hoo! You want to know why you don't want me to have the baby? Because you don't want me to be happy. You have always been jealous of me. Jealous of what? Of your lack of responsibility? Your your immaturity? Your total disregard for other people's feelings? Uh huh. To name a few. Oh. You've always been like this. You had to have everything, and I couldn't have anything. Like in junior high, when you stole Timmy from me. I mean, do you even realize how much that hurt me? Timmy was my boyfriend, and you made out with him. Oh come on, that was twenty years ago. Get over it. Oh God, I cannot believe, I cannot believe that I met you here today. Yeah, well, you know what I cannot believe? That my so-called sister gets a thirty percent discount from Ralph Lauren, and I still have to pay retail. Ha 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 ha! It's forty-five. <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> you just think you're so perfect with your new baby and your small apartment. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Your baby isn't even that cute. Too far, Emmy. Too far. You take that back. No, take it back. No, what are you gonna do? Make me? Hey, man, I work out. <laughs> so do I. I do karate. I do yoga. Bring it on. <laughs> Put the plates in the boxes. Put the plates in the boxes. Did you just push me? Yeah, I think I did. All right, that's it. Hey, forget. Forget the bubble wrap. There is some time. <laughs> frizzy, 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 frizzy. Shouldn't we stop this? Are you out of your mind? Let's throw some jello on them. Hey, someone could get hurt. Kick her, wretch! Kick her. Put her top off, wretch! Put her top off. <laughs> Ew! Gross. All right, that is it. This is our apartment, and you cannot behave this way. If you can't act your age, you shouldn't be here at all. Those plates may not be as nice as the pretty pink ones that I picked out, <laughs> but they are important to Monica, and I want you to apologize to her now. I'm sorry, Mon. I'm so sorry. Okay, that's better. Now I want you to apologize to each other and mean it. Sorry. Sorry. By the way, the fight was totally arousing. <laughs> <laughs>